Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with luxury skincare and all things beauty and skincare related. We're a little luxe, we're a little bougie on this channel. We love to just shout it from the rooftops. We also like to accept everybody, everybody who comes on this channel and we're just like totally big like supporters of freedom of purchase and so on and so forth and today I decided to do a video because I've been doing some traveling and I just wanted to show you guys what I bring with me when I travel as far as self-care so guys it's very small the list is short when I travel so I had to go on a plane twice it's my first time on a plane you know obviously since things went no I only went on a plane once but then traveled my car. First time on a plane in two years, so I was nerve wracked. Do I like to check in baggage and luggage? No, I don't, especially in the summertime. I hate checking in luggage. It just takes extra time, extra energy. I don't like putting my La Mer under planes. It's just, I don't, I know, like you can like pack it tight and everything like that, but when you have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of this luscious skincare, this thrown underneath an airplane. There's just something about it. It's just like your most precious jewels. Like you would never want your Birkin just thrown under an airplane. You know what I mean? Like you just like, you want these things on you. And that's just like how I feel about my skincare. But better yet, I'd rather it just on my vanity at home safe. And I'd rather bring samples. Yes, samples. So this is what I brought with me to Palm Beach, Florida, Boca Raton. Like my aunt and I hopped around Florida. You've guys seen it. Uh, and then Ocean City, Maryland. I bring this little La Mer pouch. I have a couple little La Mer pouches, which we love, and some really good samples. So I'm gonna show you guys what I brought. I thought this would be a fun video for us so you could see how Miss Morgan Talks travels. I brought a little Dove deodorant. In, it's called Advanced Care. It's in Cool Essentials 48. It's got this cucumber on it. I don't like the smell of this. Want to know what? It smells good. It's like a cucumber melon moment. But when you sweat, I don't like the way it smells. It's like too, it's like too smelly. I like the fresh out of the shower one or like a simple clean scent. I don't know, but this was just like the smallest one I could find at the moment and I just threw it in. I'm giving you guys like a review on deodorant, but no, but like why am I doing this? Bottom line is find a little deodorant. Oh, girl. Find a little deodorant for the week or two that you're on vacation. Next, we bring a little vial of La Prairie. So I love this. And I honestly think I, this is my second little vial that I've gone through. It's the Skin Caviar Essence in Lotion by La Prairie right here. I probably should do a review video on this. I just feel like a little odd because I've only been using samples of it. But this is like my second sample. And they give you 0.34 fluid ounces. And you do kind of get a long time out of this if you use it sparingly. But anyway, I take this on vacation with me. Why? Because one, I have a sample size of it. Two, it kind of compares to La Mer, the treatment lotion, which you guys know is like our holy grail. This is kind of like La Prairie's version of it and it works really, really well. And honestly, guys, I'm a big fan of La Prairie products. Like the quality of them is very well. And this, this treatment essence works really well on my skin. And especially when I'm traveling, I wanna have really, really, really good skincare products, even travel size like after a long day of travel, long day of, you know, beaching it, whatever, this needs to go on my face right after the shower. I always, always travel, this actually kind of busted, but I always travel with Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Guys, I don't know if I said this enough on my channel, but this is the best eye makeup remover of all time. Better than any expensive eye makeup remover you will buy. I can't live without this. Like I have a big one in my shower and then I bring a little one on vacation. This will take off your mascara, your eye makeup, like, you know, your eyeshadow, your eyeliner, just in a couple little swipes and it's done and it's off and there's nothing lingering. Like it's incredible and I can't go anywhere without it. I refuse. This is a godsend and I just, I can't travel without it. This is Kula SPF 30. Honestly, you guys, I've never used this. I don't know, it's just like never effective. I saw it and I grabbed it. I threw it in the pouch just in case I needed backup. Because 
I never used it because of this little gem right here. Okay, you guys. Hi, how are you, La Prairie? All of your SPF issues have now been gone because La Prairie has just ended it for everybody. Let me tell you a little something about this baby. This lets nothing through. Guys, this is La Prairie's Cellular Swiss UV Protection Veil Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Obviously, it's in a sample size. This stuff is fantastic. Nothing gets through this. Nothing. Zil zilch. Nothing. I wore this. I honestly applied it once. My face was pure white by the time the day was over in Florida, in Maryland, everything. It works so well. It almost works too well because like my face is totally different color from the rest of my body and you don't need much of this. Like this, the quality of this sunscreen, I was so surprised because like this sunscreen SPF 50 versus, I don't know, maybe a Kula or whatever is sold in the drugstore because I've been using drugstore sunscreens and other sunscreens, they do not work. They can't even hold a candle to this sunscreen right here by La Prairie. I'm in shock. I don't know if it's because it's luxury and it's the ingredients and the quality of it that makes it so much more effective, but it's like, I don't, I, I don't know because I know it's like, you have to like think, well, SPF 50 is SPF 50, right? Wrong, wrong. There is a big difference between luxury SPF 50 and non luck in drugstore SPF 50. This works incredibly and I honestly never even thought. I never even really thought about luxury sunscreen. It's never even really came to my attention. How odd is this? Right until I randomly threw this in my travel pouch, now it's opened my eyes to the world of luxury SPF, and that is something we will all be exploring together. I definitely want a full-size version of this. This is awesome. I absolutely love this. If you are obsessed, if you're like an SPF junkie, and you are go or you're going on like a trip with heavy, heavy, heavy sun, like when you go when I go to Mexico, it's like I'm always reapplying, reapplying because the sun is just brutal. Invest in a good good sunscreen. And I'm not talking from the drugstore. I don't care if it says SPF. Get a good sunscreen. Get La Prairie sunscreen. Next. I then travel with, of course, you know, a Luxe lipstick. This is my Dior Nights Diorific. It's usually going to be like a dark lipstick because I have little lips and I like to have dark lips or bright lips when I'm on vacation. Right now I have Max St. Germain on. When I was on, be on the beach, I kind of had like this like holiday, this is their holiday lipstick, but I still use it in the summer. You could even see a little snowflake. Like it's so cute, isn't it? But I love having like a darker lip because usually you don't wear makeup when you're on the beach or like, on, honestly, no, I did wear makeup in uh, Florida because I was with my aunt and she's just so luxurious and luxe. That's like, you have to, you gotta keep up with Aunt Linda. But I just feel like for me, if I can, you know how everybody has that one Thing, that one makeup product or this one product that they need to feel put together and they feel like if they could just get this one product on, then they're like okay and decent to walk out the door. For me, it's lipstick, right? Like I'm not even gonna consider skincare products because that's a standard. That's just like me. There's no way I'm ever walking out the door without a skincare routine. That's just, that's just a given. For me, it's lipstick. I talk to a lot of women, and for a lot of women, it's mascara. Like a lot of my friends say, as long as I can get mascara on, I'm good to go. For me, it's lipstick. And usually, if I don't have makeup on, it's always a bright lipstick. So it's like I always draw people's attention to my lips. That way, they don't have to focus on this, especially if my hair isn't done. If my hair is done, and they're getting a dose of this long, luxurious, fake and real hair, then I don't have to worry about pretty much anything other than my glowing skin and my long hair. I don't know. Anyway, I always travel with a bold lip. Okay, so this I accidentally threw into my travel pouch, and this is the Clay Depot Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. Honestly, I didn't even open it because I had my Johnson's Baby Shampoo, and nothing compares to my Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Sorry, Clay Depot. I'm sorry. 
Next, I have a Burt's Bees Wax Lip Balm right here. Guys, when you're on vacation, the sun is brutal. It can chap your lips. It can burn your lips. I always have a good lip balm. I like Burt's Bees because it's like 100% natural. Uh, no, It's got vitamin E and peppermint in it. I like it. It's very non-irritating and yeah, I like it. Next, I have the moisturizing soft cream sample because I always need a soft cream moment, always. You always need La Mer Healing Magic, especially on vacation. Guys, where there is sun, there is La Mer. Where there is the sea, there is La Mer. If my face is burnt in any form, which honestly, these trips it wasn't because of the La Prairie SPF, but still, nonetheless, when I'm traveling and my skin needs the, you know, the, you know, the big guns, um, La Mer is with me at all times. Then if the moisturizing soft cream is just not cutting it for me, I also bring along with me the La Mer, the original creme de La Mer. I honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I use this the most on my vacations because there's nothing, like i am just vibing a lot with the original creme, I don't know. Oh, the past two years, I've just been really vibing with the original creme. And I, honestly, I juggle these two a lot. And they both just come with me. Because if, if, if I'm ever in a serious, serious, serious skin emergency, like serious one, I then whip out my La Mer Renewal Oil Sample right here. And then I mix it in with one of these two babies right here here i haven't had too many skin emergencies you guys because i always have this little beauty for backup like this has been fantastic so honestly my little my little savior kit my little luxury kit has been you know i have plan a plan b plan c and plan z like if you guys have noticed i have a backup for everything okay so this also la la prairie so if i'm not in the mood for la mer for whatever reason like i said i have plan a plan b plan c it depends on my mood it depends depends on Honestly, just like my mood, like how, which luxury direction do I want to go in today? Uh, is it going to be a La Mer night? Is it going to be a La Prairie night? Most of the time it's going to be a mixture because consistently I've been using their essence and lotion and their SPF sunscreen. So it's always been a La Prairie, it's been a La Prairie and La Mer summer. Let's put it that way for me so far. I've been using a lot of their white cre caviar creme extraordinaire right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful cream. My skin has been reacting really, really, really well to this product and makes it super, super soft. However, that's all I have to say about it because I haven't noticed anything crazy, crazy other than it feels really nice on my skin. My skin seems to react very well to it. It doesn't give me any irritation, any breakouts, anything like that. It's nice to have on hand. I just don't think this sample is enough for me to test it more over time, if that makes sense. Like I know, obviously, if I'm ever in deep, 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 deep trouble, I got La Mer 1 and 2, where I have this also if I wanna like test and splurge for the night. Like do you ever, are you ever just like on vacation and it's like late night and you're in your new like vacation pajamas and you're, and like you're all warm and like you're in your like hotel covers and you're like watching TV after spending the day on the beach and then you like wanna try a new skincare products, so you like, put on like La Prairie and like try it out. Like that's, that was like my vibe. Last but not least, I do have the Renewal Body Oil Balm sample. I have whipped her out a couple of times. I like to travel with La Mer body products because what I like about La Mer body products is they give you this glow and light from within. They, First of all, they make you smell really well. They make you smell like La Mer. And if I smell like La Mer, I'm a happy, happy girl. Oh my God. Oh yes. Yes, that smells so good. So what I like to do with sample La Mer is, is I usually, like when it comes to body products, is I won't use them on my legs unless I'm burnt or I'm really dry. I usually just use them all on my arms and like on my neck, especially if it's like we're going out to dinner that night and it's like we spent the whole day outside. I will usually treat myself to a sample of this. I use it sparingly on vacation though because it is so small. What I've really used a lot is, hold on, this I wanna actually talk about. 
I do want to let you guys know, I know you don't see a serum. That is because I brought my concentrate serum sample with me on the trips. And honestly, I used it all between the two trips and I threw the packaging away. But the serum of the trips was the concentrate. When I travel, I do try if I have a sample to bring the concentrate because that is the most effective serum in my opinion and the most restorative serum and the best serum to repair and replenish your skin in my opinion. So I always like to have that with me especially in stressful skincare situations. So I always like to finish my routine with La Mer the Mist. I did not take this one to Florida. I took it to Maryland. I love this. I love to top off my routine with that. I used as an eye product, I don't have it in the room with me right now, but as an eye cream, I did take along two Dr. Barbara Sturm uh, eye cream. I'll put, you know what, I'll post a picture of it right here, but I was using the Barbara Sturm eye cream samples. I actually really like those samples a lot and uh, they don't irritate my eyes at all. I really like those. I brought the BioLeak Recherche lotion and toner with me to Maryland because again, I didn't have to take it on an airplane. Love this stuff. It did a great job at exfoliating. I had to be gentle with it because it's super powerful and I didn't want to irritate my skin, especially if I did have any sensitivity from being out in the sun. Again, didn't have too much of a problem because the La Prairie 50 SPF was honestly really, really effective. But I think the star product of the whole trip was honestly, the pot of the shimmer body cream by Beekman 1802 right here. You guys hear me talk about Beekman a little bit on my channel, but I just want to stress to you how amazing of a body products they body products they make. Like Beekman 1802 is where it's at. Let me just explain. Their goat milk body butter is my favorite body lotion right now ever and I honestly it's empty and I have to go back and get another one but I have this this is made of mica silk protein goat milk with with gold in it right here this makes your skin have this gorgeous gold flaky glimmer and when you are out in the sun you look incredible it was like stunning we just slathered it all over our bodies and our legs before we went to the pool. And you guys, we were glistening. Like not, not shiny, not like, oh, we're glowing. No, 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 no. We were not glowing, we were glistening glistening. Guys, if you are going out to the beach or you're going on a nice vacation with your husband or you're going on a girl's trip and you want to glow up and you want to look amazing, you're going to Vegas and you want to flip your hair at the pool parties and you need to be like popping and you want to look good, like you want to be smoking and you want to look like you're on fleek without looking like you have cheap like body glitter on. You know how some of these body glitters, they're so fake, these bronzers, they look so fake and like as soon as you sit down, you're like putting like fake bronzer on your chairs and you just look cheap. Don't buy those. I'm telling you, go to Beekman 1802. I'm going to link everything right here below so you guys can shop. I'm going to link this below, slather yourself up and you're gonna be smoking and you're not gonna be getting stuff all over and you're not gonna be messy. You're gonna be a queen and you're gonna be freaking shimmering to the gods. Oh my God, I cannot wait for you guys to like try that. Oh my God, I can't wait, oh my God. Anyway, that's it. We are officially empty. You guys, that's what I brought with me to both vacations, between two vacations, the, these are the products that I brought with me. I hope you liked this video. I hope I gave you some good ideas. Uh, again, I, tr I try to travel with as many samples as I can to make the uh, travel light. And of course, I don't wanna like deal with spills and all stuff like that. Usually my like self-care routine baggage is like a lot, you know what I mean? Like it's a lot. When I travel, it's like, I, you know how people are like, oh my God, like I need a, a separate bag just for my shoes or I need a separate bag just for like my hats or something. Like for me, it's like I almost need a separate bag just for my skincare. Like that's how I travel. I travel with a lot of liquids and creams. So for me to cut back down, I have to travel with as many samples as possible or otherwise they're going to like stop me at the gate and they're gonna like investigate me or something crazy. Like I am just like, you know, just 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just that girl. I'm just that girl. And then, you know what I'm saying? They're like, who is this chick? And then it's like, wait, what? You're like handicapped? What the fuck? Like, cause I, I'm handicapped, you know? So it's like, they're just, I'm just, I cause mass confusion. But you know what? I'm proud. It is what it is. It's my life and that's it. I'm very non-conventional. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you guys some good ideas. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate having you guys. I really want to see this channel grow. I really want to reach more people and I really just want to keep going. I love making the relationships that I make with you guys and I'm just so happy doing this and I just want to expand our love lovely luxury empire to more and more people and like let's just have more fun together i love you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram i'm super active in my stories and i do like to share updated posts throughout the week i love you guys stay loved stay fabulous and if you're traveling be safe be healthy and stay fabulous bye